So I'm going to show you an easy way to shade your character. So the first thing I would mention is that you should do your coloring underneath your line layer. So do your line layer and then color underneath it. So to shade, all I'm going to do is make a new layer. I'm going to color pick the color of his skin. I'm going to go a little bit darker. And on the new layer, I'm going to make that a multiply layer. So we have a new layer, multiply, and we have a skin that's a little darker. So that's going to look something like this. So, and just to show you, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna shade in the the bits that need shading, and then I'll show you why this is such a cool way to do it. I'm just trying to color this really fast. Okay, so that's a little dark, but since we did it on a new layer. Uh, you can just lower the opacity. So, that looks pretty good. So I'll just erase in some spots that might need it. Like here. And then I'll just go back to my brush, and now that the layer is on its, its, uh, I think the layer is at 42%. So that'll be my shading layer. So now I can just shade all of this. And if you're worried about staying in the lines, like if you don't want that to happen, you can always select the face and then go back to your shading layer. I'll name it shading. You can go back to your shading layer um, once you have the face selected and then it won't it won't go outside the face. And you can add some some cool shading to your character. Now I'll show you another really cool trick uh, with shading. So say if you wanted to go extreme with it, and let's say you wanted to shade a whole half of his nose. But you don't want it to be, you don't want, you don't want it to be this, uh, this solid straight line. Then you can just take your eraser and use an airbrush, and you can erase away some of the... the shadow layer. So if you slowly erase it away, then you'll get a nice gradient, uh, a more natural looking shadow. And you could repeat that for, you know, if you wanted this to be more of a gradient, if you wanted this to be more of a gradient, things like that. And if you, if you want to color the whole half of his face like this, but you want to just make it softer, then you just take your airbrush and eraser, and then you just And then I'll just re I'll just redraw this line here for his mouth. Oops, use a better brush. So yeah, just some quick ways, easy ways to shade. Um, another quick tip, since you have we have our shadow layer, it's also fun to play around with the hue saturation. Sometimes you can get some really cool effects you might want it a little more saturated like that's a that's a nice look uh, you can make it darker 
which and all these things just give it a completely different look so all right see you guys in the next one